everybody it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and I'm going to do a what I think is going to be a fairly quick video and I'm going to do this on a butterfly that I did um, I didn't do a video on this particular one um, but I did sell the one that I had made and I've had requests uh, from people to uh, do a video so I'm going to go ahead and do a video on how I made um, this particular butterfly and then at the end I will put um, actually at the beginning and the end there will be pictures um, so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get started what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna turning be turning these butterflies into something that is pretty remarkable really sparkly I have some that I've already completed that I've done the process that I'm gonna show you now and this is what they're going to look like if I can get them to sparkle, you can see the sparkle in these. That's what we're going to be doing. This is what the process is that we're going to be doing now. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm going to be using is uh, some Mod Podge, and this is the One Coat Gloss Finish. This is a thicker Mod Podge, and the reason I'm using this normally I use triple thick and because right now you can't get triple thick except I think I saw an ad on Amazon for the bottle that I normally get for like six bucks was uh, $20 19 something so I decided I wasn't gonna pay that much for it and I was gonna try this thick uh, gloss Mod Podge so we're trying something new today and actually I do know that it works because I did use it on these other butterflies that I did so <clears throat> so I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using some of my Flora Craft Diamond Dust. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm sure most of you have seen it if you've watched my videos before. Super sparkly. So we're going to be using that today. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to take out my Mod Podge here. And really what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it. over the tops of these butterflies and then um, I'll take one of the a set from the ones that I've already made and we'll do the rest of the project so but this is just to show you this process so I'm going to take a really good healthy amount of the Mod Podge and I'm going to paint it over the entire butterfly nice and thick and that helps the butterfly to get a little bit more thickness to it as well because these butterflies are fairly thin now the thing is is I was selling these butterflies in my shop I have a local shop that I buy these from and I'm gonna see if I can find them in another one nearby I'm not sure if I'll be able to or not if I can I'll get some more in my shop if not I'll have to wait until my store gets more um, I only have a couple of them left and I wanted to save them to do some projects with like this one this is a special order from my friend Jennifer she asked if she could buy the other one that I had made but I had already sold it um, the fairly quickly after I made it so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint both butterflies and we're gonna do this all in one process and it's pretty quick and easy to do. Um, the thing that I like to warn everybody about is I use a lot of the um, this Flora Craft um, Diamond Dust in my projects. I like a lot of sparkle and because it's broken glass and you did hear that right it is broken, broken shards of glass um, it's not something that you ever want to work with around children. Um, you don't want to have them using this product because it's not safe for kids to play with. Um, you wouldn't want them getting those little pieces of glass in their mouth or their eyes or anything like that. Um, I've never been cut by this. Um, I suppose that could happen as well. These little uh, slivers of glass could get into your finger. It hasn't happened to me yet, um, but I'm not going to say that it couldn't happen. So um, you have to be really careful when you're working with it. I've got this little thing stuck to my finger. 
So we're just going to, I'm going to do it over my jar of glass glitter here. It's called, you can get it in the form of what's called glass glitter or diamond dust. Um, there are different makers that call it different things. It's basically the same thing. I think the stuff that I'm using is a 70 grit glass glitter. So I'm just going to kind of put it on there and shake it a little bit into the jar. And then I'll take my big one and do the same thing. I should have put the jar in the middle of the screen, right? And we're just going ahead and taking it and sprinkling it right over that butterfly, covering the entire butterfly with this glitter. And now I'm going to do the other side. And like I said, I've got a fairly thick coat of the Mod Podge on there. You could probably just use a regular Mod Podge as well. I know you can get the, the little uh, bottles of Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, um, which is cheaper. It just it doesn't come out as thick as this does and it doesn't come out glossy in the end. So that's what I've done so far. And now we've got glitter on these two butterflies. And I'm gonna set these two aside so that I can work on the ones that I already have made. And what we're gonna do with these butterflies is we're gonna put them together. We're gonna turn the two butterflies into one, but the one thing that I am gonna do, you can see they have these little plastic uh, antennas. And I'm going to cut those off of both of these butterflies because I have something else I wanna use in place of the plastic ones on this. The other thing that I did was on this big butterfly, I cut part of the body off because if I'm gonna put this one on top, I just didn't want as much of a mass um, coming out of the butterfly. So I've cut part of the body off of this one. And um, to my friend Yvonne, I'm not sure if I did this step on yours. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but I know yours is beautiful anyway. So <laughs> it turned out fine without doing that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these little pearl stamens that you can get really at any craft store. These are little pearls. And I'm gonna use those as the antennas for the butterfly. So I'm just gonna take it like that and then I'm gonna glue it between these two butterflies. And what I'm gonna do with the gluing process is I'm gonna use a dot of E6000 here, not too much and I'm going to use a dot of hot glue and I try to when I use the hot glue I try to um, keep it away from the E6000 because that way it has a chance to set up otherwise the E6000 tends to make the hot glue want to um, stay wet it doesn't want to uh, cure properly and the reason for the hot glue is so that I can continue working on the project. So I'm just going to hold that on there for a minute and let that hot glue cure or cool down I should say and that's what helps it to cure and then we'll go ahead and finish the project. And it looks like it's on there pretty good now. A lot of times what I tend to do with these is I have these um, flat back pearls and I have some really pretty large ones in here actually uh, let's see let's go with this size here and I'm just going to use a couple of these really just to kind of lift up the wings so that they kind of um, aren't really touching so what I would do here is I'm going to place a dot of hot glue under the wing and place one of these pearls right where I put that hot glue and that way it'll keep that wing lifted. 
and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of embellish this butterfly. And of course, I'm going to add another hot glue dot to the butterfly because it doesn't seem to be settling in correctly. So I just need to leave it alone for a second and work on figuring out what I'm going to do to embellish this. Okay, so um, what I'm going to be using to embellish, I'm going to use one of these little white roses. And I guess I'll just put a few of these little goodies on my hand so that you can see what I've got here for embellishments. And I, I may not use all of these. I may use just a few or what have you, but um, I just like to have lots of choices. Uh, when I'm doing these things so okay so these are some of the things that I have that I'm going to potentially use on this to embellish the butterfly and maybe a couple of green leaves this one will not be exactly like the first one that I did um, but it will be similar um, so but it will also be very very pretty and then this is something I'm also going to be using to hang from the butterfly um, at the end. So, okay. So now we've got that butterfly sort of tucked down in there. I'm going to take some of these um, flowers here. This is from a piece that I cut out of a shower curtain. These are embroidered flowers. And so... When you're out, if you're somebody who maybe goes to thrift stores or what have you to find some of your little uh, crafting bits and pieces, sometimes you can find old shower curtains that have these pretty embroidered flowers on them. And they're great to use in these sort of craft projects. So uh, keep that in mind if you're ever out and about or just maybe try to frequent one of your um, craft stores once in a while and see if you can find something you know like this to use in your projects because one shower curtain will go a long long way when it comes to something like this um, so anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, I had a piece of oh I have this little um, lace flower that I got from my friend Gail. She sent me a package of uh, Happy Mail. And in that Happy Mail, she put a whole bunch of really pretty um, bits and pieces of lace and appliques and things like that. So I do on this one, you know what? I'm not gonna put that on there. I, I just thought about that because the other one that Jennifer saw did not have that in it and I don't want to alter it too much. I want to show all of that beautiful sparkle. So we're not going to put that on there. Hopefully you appreciate that, Jennifer. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little white flower here on this top butterfly. And then I'm going to try and, and glue a couple of the edges down so that it's, it's on there really well. And these are pretty, these little butterflies make really pretty uh, wedding uh, type embellishments. Um, so if you were, you know, getting married and wanted to use butterflies, this would be a fun thing to do um, because they're white and they're sparkly and they look, they look wedding <laughs> um, they would be a really pretty embellishment to use um, for a wedding. So just a, an idea. And on, I'm going to use this little pearl embellishment that I really, really love. I got this at Kiki Sale. She has a lot of these um, on a regular basis on her sales 
uh, in her Facebook store. So um, I almost always have them on hand to uh, help embellish my projects and I love, love, love them. So I've got that on there and then I'm going to use these little pink roses. These are just little rose buds. I'm going to use these, but I'm going to I'm going to kind of cut these stems off a bit because I don't want them to stick out too, too far. But I'm going to use them together, putting the bigger one on first, the, the longer one on first. I'm going to tuck these up under this little white rose. And then I'll tuck the other one in so that it's, it's a little bit shorter. And that way you get sort of a um, more layered effect. Okay. And then I am going to use also one of these little tiny white roses. These are all paper roses that I'm using on this. I'm going to use this little white rose to go sort of right above those two other flowers. This is gorgeous. And then I'm going to take another one of these little pieces of embroidered roses and I'm going to tuck it up under there. And one more that I'm going to tuck over here. I may use that last one on the other side. I haven't decided yet. So we're going to tuck that one right there. And then I'm going to take this tiny little white flower, put it right there. And let's see, do I want to use another? I'm going to use another piece of um, bling as well on this one. And so we've put E6000 and a drop of hot glue and I'm just going to have that kind of coming out here by these flowers. When I do these kind of butterflies I generally embellish one side a little bit more than the other side uh, just for effect and then I've got these little green leaves and I think I'm going to put two of these coming off from somewhere. Let me see if I can get these two apart. Well, we'll just take the one next to them. So I'm going to take these little leaves and let's see, where do I want to put them? They're going to go on this side with all the other embellishments over here. And when I do leaves, I like to do them in twos just because I think it, it just gives, gives it a better look. There we go. And I'm tucking those under. And then I'm going to take just a couple of these little shiny embellishments and cut them off and use them in a couple of little spots just for added um, shine. I'm also going to use that little pink flower somewhere. I just haven't decided where yet. And these have sticky on them, but I'm going to also put a dot of hot glue underneath them. But these are super pretty and I get the, uh, normally I get these at my little local store, but I think Debbie, um, in fact I know Debbie from Kiki Sale sent these to me um, to be able to use in a project or two. And she sent me a little, a little bunch of them. Most of you have probably been able to get these somewhere, I'm guessing. I'm going to put one right on top of these two leaves in the corner here. And let's see, I have one more in my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and use that somewhere as well. I think I'm going to put it right, let's see 
right in here behind the pearl embellishment if I can get it tucked in there it won't show up a lot but it will show it has a lot of sparkle so that's really all there is to it you guys um, oh I wanted to use this other little pink rose and I think I'm gonna put that over here on the other side and this will be the last thing that goes on right there so there we have it one finished butterfly my video is 20 minutes long and Jennifer I hope you love this I do um, so it's all done I still have a few more things that I have to make for Jennifer um, to finish her order and um, I'm gonna probably do another video on one of the items that I'm doing for her because um, it's a really special item and oh wait I'm not done oh my goodness wait a minute I have to put this on here this is the last thing I'm gonna be putting on to this butterfly I can't believe I almost missed it and this is just going to go on this side so that it hangs down off the butterfly and then um, let's see I think what I want to do one more thing I'm going to do with this if I have some in here well, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to use a little bit of this um, AB rhinestone chain and I'm going to hang it from the center of this, um, this piece here. So, but it's going to hang with hot glue and I'm just going to put enough of it on there up at the top that this can settle in and become part of this um, applique. So there we have it you guys, all done. So that's what I did. I don't know if you can see the rhinestone chain, but the rhinestone chain is in there. Just in the center there, I just added it to the center piece. You can see there. But this is the finished butterfly. And I will take pictures as well. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I do new videos. And remember, you guys, I have about 40 more subscribers that I need to get in order to do my 4,000 subscriber giveaway. So as soon as I get those 40 subscribers, I'll be doing a video to let you guys know what my giveaway will be. It'll be something really cool. Um, I'm sure of that because I usually try to do really nice giveaways. And um, so I'll be seeing you then. Um, share the video with your friends and family. Maybe they'll enjoy watching a tutorial or two from my channel. Um, thanks a lot, everybody. Take care of yourselves and be safe out there. Bye-bye. Okay, I just wanted to really quick before we end this video, um, I wanted to show you guys some other butterflies that I made that are just the sparkly butterflies. Um, I'm going to have some of these in my Etsy shop um, that you can purchase. I'm not going to have a lot. I'm going to have this one set of two white sparkly, or actually two sets of these white sparkly butterflies. You get one small and one large. Um, that I have added the diamond dust to already, so you can see the sparkle in these. And then I've also added <clears throat> sets of these butterflies. These are gray and silver, and they've also got diamond dust. You get two large butterflies with these. And then I've also got this color where you'll get also two large butterflies. Um, so those are going to be in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested in looking at those. Um, I just wanted to show you on this video because it shows the sparkle. And actually Etsy has now um, made it so that we can add videos to our listings. So I am able to actually 
add my listings and show a quick video um, that shows the sparkle on some of my items. I don't have it on all of them, just more of my newly listed things. So these do have video on my Etsy shop as well, but I thought for those of you that are looking at um, my uh, YouTube channel, this is what they look like. And like I said, I have two sets of the white. I have one set of the peach and one set of the silver and gray. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this as well as um, the other stuff. So thank you.